Cyber Excellence Academy, presented by Take Note IT Solutions in collaboration with the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research at the University of Venda, as well as MICT CETA, is encouraging more people to take up cybersecurity as a profession. Reports indicate that cybercrime is on the rise, so could this be the profession that offers greater job security? Well, we're joined by Mamela Lutuli, founder and CEO of Take Note IT, and Mwao Mutemwa, research group leader for data security and analytics at CSIR, to discuss the opportunities in this field a bit more. Thank you very much for your time this evening to the both of you. Let's start with you, Mwao. What does research indicate about cybersecurity as a profession right now? All right, uh, good evening to you and uh, the viewers at home. So in a nutshell, when we look at um, the skills across the globe um, and we look at the skills in South Africa, there's a high skills shortage, meaning that uh, there is opportunities for young people to actually enter into the industry um, and actually help defend against cyber criminals across the world. So basically that's what the opportunity is um, in a nutshell in terms of the research. Mm, it's quite interesting that the increase in crime has led to opportunities in this space. But of course, it is to ensure that we don't see that increase and we start to see a decrease. I just want to rope you in here, Mamela. Talk us through the cybersecurity program that Cyber Excellence Academy is offering to matriculants uh, as well as the partnership thereof. Thank you so much. So we're trying to bridge a gap of seeing the opportunity at the same time the world economic forum is projecting that there's four million vacancies of cyber skills worldwide and we took advantage of that opportunity by providing an end-to-end -end training program that really focuses on cyber skills and the practical and over and above that the soft skills that are needed and the placement so this is the collaboration our second cohort we, we, we did with the CSIR, we're very proud to say that our young graduates graduated last week and they're going to be absorbed in the CSIR environment in partnership with MIC CETA as well. Mm -hmm. So with the program, it's a training that is looking for matriculants with an aptitude to learn and some knowledge of computers, basic knowledge of computers. And then we train them, we, we equip them on how to, how, how, how to communicate, how do they carry themselves in the work environment, how to conduct an interview, how to write a presentation and, 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 and the CVs. And over and above that, the mental resilience of saying, we provide a, a robust yoga, which is called inner engineering, where we look on the res mental resilience of these young people. And over and above that, we go for the hardcore theory skills that are online platform, self-paced platform, that has got also the, the, the labs online where they simulate these things. Mm -hmm. We produce your ethical hackers, we produce your cyber analysts, your cloud engineers, and, and, and also even the, the, the teaching them the financial literacy and the entrepreneurial side of things. And, and, and looking on saying things have changed. Now we're placing these companies, these, 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 these young people, to work for global companies being based in South Africa. So, so that's the kind of the initiative we've embarked into with CSIR is a huge success and we're really looking forward now into, into the third cohort that mm -hmm. will be much bigger in a bigger scale. No, quite impressive. What is the duration of this training? So the training is self-paced. So the, the, hard co the, the technical and the, and, and the practical side of things is three to six months. And then we provide these 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 soft skills and 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 other pro and and and, and the, the soft skills and the, and the mental resilience the, the yoga program that will take up to a year including practical then after that after a year they can start working immediately like now this cohort has started working with csir mm -hmm. and then we talk us through perhaps the importance of public private partnerships in fostering youth empowerment and economic growth as what we're seeing now I think that's a very good question. So uh, generally, the government is there to facilitate an environment where the private sector can be able to create jobs. And I think it's very important that the public sector partners with private sector to, to make that actually possible. Because I think collaboration becomes a key instrument that if we hope to achieve success, whether it's we're addressing skills shortages or whether we're addressing um, unemployment in the country, 
collaboration is one of the key things that we need to do as a country. And I think it's very important that um, CSR, MIC, CETA, the University of Venda, and Take Note actually come together and make sure there's a platform at least to address some of these um, challenges that we're facing in the country. So I think it's very important that uh, we have a platform like this that we can work together on. Thank you. All right. Memela, just in closing, for the young people, matriculants that are watching, or perhaps their parents that want to take full advantage of this opportunity with a third cohort coming up, how do they reach you? So they can reach into our website. It's www.takenoteit.co.za. They will be able to click the, the, the link there that will allow them to populate their information. Currently, we're busy collating the data and preparing for the next cohort. So they, 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 we've got almost 300 database, but we're still looking for more. So they are welcome to just go into our website and, and populate their information. We'll reach back to them and obviously follow the process of, 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 of interviewing them and screening them. Once they pass that stage, then we start the onboarding process. All right. Thank you to the both of you. That was Memela Lutuli, founder and CEO of Take Note IT, as well as Muyo Mutemwa, research group leader for data security and analytics at CSIR, talking to us on cybersecurity as a profession in the wake of increased cybercrime.